first and foremost, Coach, uh, congratulations. Uh, obviously, you know, when you look at the calendar, there are certain invitations that we use as sort of measuring sticks to kind of see where you are at certain points of the season. And uh, obviously, Great Oak wanted to use this as that opportunity. Uh, just take me through what you saw there today in terms of the boys' performance and how they were ex able to execute to get a victory here today. Well, they, they worked hard all season. They've trained hard on the hills. They've, they've trained hard everywhere. And they were determined to show that in this field of boys showing up today that they were the distinct winners and they did their job. That's really what it all boys down to. I was going to say, uh, in terms of benchmarks and seeing what you want at this point in the season, do you see a team that is ready for league postseason postseason season? Absolutely they're ready. So they're ready for CIF prelims, they're ready for finals, they're ready for state, and they're ready for whatever we decide to do after state. Um, that's a little bit up in the air at the moment. But, but what I really loved today was I saw some of my boys moving around in, in positions. So some of my boys that have been typically coming in six and seven were coming in in a scoring position. So what that tells me is we have lots of growth and lots of movement, and these are boys who aren't seniors. So we have a really bright future ahead of us. And, and I know the varsity boys race is important. It's, a, it's what's going to get us to the postseason where we want to be. But I also today really was excited by what I saw with my freshmen, my sophomores, my juniors. Like everybody was doing well. Our, our freshmen, boys and girls, are completely undefeated for the season. And I think that says a great deal about the future of, of Great Oak running going to say, when you come into a program that obviously has a tradition of Great Oak, and you know we would be here for three hours and we've <laughs> talked about everything this program has done, how do you, are you able to kind of put your imprint on it and still build upon maybe some of the legacy that's already been in place? Well, it was important for me to communicate really well with Doug and with Dan and to make sure I knew what had been happening. Because as an informed coach, you can make changes, slight, big, it doesn't really matter, but you can make changes based on your own perspective and your own ideas about running and running excellence and training. But you, you can't do that if you don't know what has been done. So I made sure that I was very educated about what had been done with the program and all of the information about their workouts and how, how everything had been um, had been done. So the changes that we've made have been slight uh, because when you have already a history of excellence, you, you continue that, that history and then you, you try to make it your own. So I guess at the beginning I was a little nervous, um, but what I found was that I love running and I love these kids and I've taught these kids in my classroom for years. Um, so when I put it together, I figured out that I, I really do know a lot about running and I really do love these kids. So I think when that's what you have and you have a fantastic history and you have all the information about that history, you, you just keep working on it. And then obviously when you come in and establish that, the kids know that the, the things that have happened with this program in terms of the accomplishment. How do you get them to also not only buy into you, but not run with the pressure of having to live up to what's been done in the past and just go out and execute what they're capable of? I, I'm not a very... Um, I'm not a very emotional coach. I'm very logical, I'm very down to earth, and kids seem to respond to that. So they have responded very, very well to the to the new coaches. They've done a really great job. We, we, were, we were very smart and kept a lot of the other coaches that were already working with Doug and Dan, and, and they have responded really well to me and to Coach Corey. So they haven't really missed a beat. There wasn't ever a time where they didn't buy into us or didn't buy into the new routine or they had trouble with the pressure. They they really treat it as that's our legacy and that's what we need to live up to and it's and it's an expectation that doesn't feel overwhelming or burdensome. It feels free. We are great oak. And so when we show up, we show up in every race, at every level, we show great depth and, and we're we're here to run. And then finally, obviously, as a coach, you will celebrate this, and this will be fantastic, and then tomorrow morning you will wake up and say, all right, new day, we got to go ahead and attack a new challenge. How do you guys build off of this and keep that momentum as we get to lead and then on in the CIF and possibly for season opportunities? I, I think it's all about mental training at this point. So they've done all the physical work. We're going to keep doing the physical work. 
that they have to really work on their mental focus and their mental training. And it's really hard when you when you win a race like this. It's it's hard to make sure that you're always respectful of those you're going to be competing against. They have got to be respectful of and honor all the people that they're going to be competing against. And so the message from the coach will be, that's what has to happen here. And so we have to keep our, our game face on and they have to really be ready to work because otherwise they won't show up and perform. That's not going to be a worry. These these guys are all ready. They're going to they're going to show up and perform. They'll have their mental in place. Um, we have league finals in about a week and a half, and after league finals, we pair our team down to just the top 16 boys and top 16 girls. And the focus then is completely support and working together to get our final team ready to race that day.